between Billy and Riley, I've made some trails in my paddock, some of which are crazy steep, as you shall see. But first, a quick backstory. I had this dream of having some trails to ride in my own backyard for a number of years now. About a year and a half ago, I moved to this house and thought I'd have a great potential to hold some really steep mountain bike trails. So I got to work digging with just a mattock and a shovel, managing to carve out some really narrow single track. And with the urge to go riding and show everyone the trails, which I got. Right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start at the top and I'll show you a few sort of features or trails that I've built. Well, I wouldn't say features, but I'll show you a few trails that I've built and then we'll make our way down to the bottom of the paddock. So here's a little trail which I've sort of made. Um, starts off really nice. Smooth and you sure I can wind it way out in the tree there. <laughs> and so come down here. This bit I haven't really pruned yet, it's still in work in progress. And come up here. And then we just come right down here. It's so fun. There's another cool feature. A small shreddy jump. It, it's, a, it's more of a natural jump. And then we sort of move in. I'll show you. And it's straight up there. And it's just so fun. Right, so here's the ramp which I showed you in your last video. Um, Cars up on the top right and making the description as well so there's a little it's pretty good um it's it's very it's reasonably steep I, i'll say that much it's also pretty it's i don't know i'll just look see there's two ways that you can do it you can ride down it really fast or you can ride down it relatively slowly this is that's relatively slowly, and it's pretty it's pretty mellow, and you can go down the ramp really fast. Yes. It's also really fun. <laughs> oh, that's a bit sketchy. Right, here's the, new, here's the first trail which I'm going to demonstrate. <laughs> but it doesn't have a name. I've named the other ones. I've named those ones, so I'll show you those ones soon. Um, so it's got a bit of a rock roll to start. It's nice, kind of cool. And it's got a nice trail at the end, so like this. Oh, <laughs> so it goes, goes, down, goes down like that. And then you've got these trails. So I'll start with the, the main trail over here. This one, this trail here, is called Rock and Drop for two reasons. First, I've named the trails. Um, I named the trails from what they look like and what's in them, pretty much. So this one here, you go down, and there's a significant rock there. Then you come down here and then just drop here. So look, I'll show you. There's the drop here. So there's that drop there, so it sort of takes off. You take off um you take off there and then you go down and you land down there. If you can see that. <laughs> here. There's a big rock you have to go around, so that's called that's the rock part of the map. So that's why it's called rock and drop. Rock and the in rock in drop. Rock and drop. So that's a blue square. So you don't roll everything, so that's why it's a blue square. And it's pretty relatively smooth. And then you've got this trail. Oh. 
That didn't usually happen. <laughs> right. And yeah, this. This trail that I'm about to show you is called Moss Town, which is a black diamond. It's called Moss Town because the rock slab is covered in moss, and that makes it really sketchy to write down. So the trick is to keep your momentum and not look up your rear wheel. Right, here we go. Now when riding this trail, you also want to do the same as in Moss Town, keeping your rear wheel from locking up. This trail, which is a double black diamond, is called Dirt My Day. There's an upper portion, which is the steepest, and lower portion, which is a 100 degree turn. <laughs> now the following trail hasn't been carved out yet because it's so long that it's crazy steep and that's proven because you can't see the bottom. Now you may be wondering what the name of the trail is. Well, it's called Rebel Rampage, named after the Rebel Rampage Daniel series and Rampage is really steep and rocky so I thought it would have the great name for the trail. The key to running on this trail is to get way behind your saddle and try to not go over the bars. You gotta get into a relatively um, low gear, like your high sports. Get into like the small chain ring you have, and get into that. So to me, it's gear chain. Sit down. Far behind the saddle, You're way behind the saddle, and you just straight down it. You gotta come around here because it's just because it's just rock. Whoa! You come down here, and you miss to come down here. And then go down the rock. <laughs> right, so level hard line me is meant to start here, but I haven't actually built up here yet. So the actual trail, the actual trail markings start further down. Go so these rocks. Come down here. Endo, I've been thought. I'm not meant to do that. <laughs> I'm not meant to do that at all. I'm literally holding brakes as hard as I can right now. Oh my goodness, it's just a bit of a place to start. And you come down here, down here, and you just flip with the brakes and just go up. Oh! I case to jump a bit. <laughs> it's not meant to happen. It's usually not meant to case. Because I didn't get enough speed. You can literally just pedal down with just a little bit of effort. Yeah, I just cased it. Oh, just around there. Oh, that didn't just find the jump there. Huh. Anyway, that's all good. Actually, how? No, we have to go up and we must clear the jump. We have to clear the jump. We must clear the jump. Right, so now I'll finish off with a quick run down the paddock. Hop to the bottom. told you in the last video, the dam was quite full 
as you can see it is quite full but it's not full entirely but that's okay so I'd like to end the video here and I'd like to remind you all to commit to everything write everything and shred everything